So there's really been a slew of new agents for CLL, and what's really remarkable about these new agents is they're not chemotherapy. One of the most important things about idelisib and about these other agents is the fact that they're not chemotherapy, and so they spare the patients all the toxicities of chemotherapy. Even though the idelisib trial was done in patients who were considered to be medically unfit and not capable of receiving chemotherapy, I would still recommend idelisib to all of my patients, even those who could tolerate chemotherapy. And I think the idea of avoiding the myelosuppression and the immunosuppression, as well as the long-term risk of bone marrow failure and secondary AML and myeldysplasia dysplasia that results from chemotherapy really should promote or prompt all physicians to think about using or avoiding chemotherapy in all of their CLL patients, even those who are medically fit.